This week I'm trading the van for a little bit of island life. I'm heading over to Inishmore to explore the raw and rugged beauty of the island. I've only ever done a day trip, so I'm really excited to see all of which the island has to offer. So we're going to be spending two days there. We set sail to Inishmore with Aran Island Ferries from a small port town called Rosnaville in Connemara. The voyage took about 40 minutes in total, but I didn't mind all too much because the views along the way were absolutely class. That's my friend Sarah and she'll be joining me on this journey. Once we arrived, we hopped on one of the most unique activities in all of Inishmore. This is the Aran Off-Road Experience. Our local guide, Porek, told us stories from the island as we gazed out the window and admired the incredible views. He explained that the population was just 850 people and that meant one thing. Um, everybody knows, knows, knows everybody, that's okay, but also everybody knows everything about you. That's the little bit of a problem. You go out at night here, your mum knows what you have done just before you go home. It's, it's, that, it's that kind of island. We also stopped by the local teenage nightclub. When I say a nightclub, I better clarify what I mean. It's a big empty room where you went in every Friday and Saturday night and see how you got on. You know what I mean? You're just, you're just going to see how things panned out for you. Before we explored roads only a 4x4 four four can access, we drove along the rugged landscape until we reached this breathtaking spot. We're in the 4x4 maybe 10 minutes and we've already come to such a unique location that you'd never be able to get to without a local. This right here is where the Banshees of Inishirin was. So Colin Farrell's house was built in the background of this field. Can you watch it on your TV screens? How cool is that? Honestly, like I'm on cloud nine on this. It's such a unique and raw thing to do when you're on Inishmore. We then continued on our way, glued to the window, passing by more film locations for the movie. And uh, the roof, this is the roof, just on our right hand, just on our left hand side, on my right hand side. This is the thatch that they imported and did not export. Imagine. And she's a Vinishir and that's the cottage, that's the movie. People always ask, why did they not leave it up there with the tourist track? It simply wouldn't have stayed. There's no way it would have, it would, it would have lasted, okay? Because I'll tell you why. See on the right hand side here, guys, this is the timber. This is all that it was built out of, that four inches by two inches timber. It just simply would not have lasted up top there. There's, there's no way it would have, you know? Um, not with the wind up top there, but look, there we go. That's, that, that's the movie, The Bad Sheet of Inishirin, which was a, 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 a quite successful uh, internationally. Next, we are heading to one of the most popular attractions on Inishmore, and that is the Wormhole. Normally, it would take you about 40 minutes to reach there once you leave your bike behind. but. Pork is bringing us the VIP way. <laughs> we're basically heading through his family land. It's only going to take 12 minutes to get there. And this is so cool because we're in places in the island that others just don't have the opportunity to explore. And it's stunning here. unreal like I'm like so happy I've got like a smile across my whole face I don't know why Park's like great like I feel like we're just hearing stories that you would never get if you come here the normal way he's just making me so happy it is a really unique way to see the island and I know everyone probably says everything is unique but like it is we're hearing about like stories about how he grew up here like about the local people like it's just it's a really great way to see it more <laughs> favorite things about visiting the wormhole is it really shows you why it's called the wild atlantic way you get to see the waves crashing it's just it's a must visit when you're on in the shore
deer walking, I just spotted Dun Angusha off in the distance. We're heading there next, but to see it from this angle, it's incredible. And once again, we hopped back in the van, admiring the incredible landscapes as we pass by and listening to the stories of pork totals from the local people. This is a summer college where teenagers from age 12 to 4, 12 to 18, my apologies, they come every year to live with local families. So they live here for three weeks in June, three weeks in July and three weeks in August to learn the Irish language. Pork explained how his mother is a Bannon tea, which means that the teenagers coming over to visit the Gwell Talked would stay with her and she would house them for the week. And this, of course, was a total dream for a young teenage boy. Because they're not from the island, you take it they're not being related to you. The last night in the Gwell Talked is an emotional roller coaster, okay? <laughs> Somebody might tap you on the shoulder and go, cheer up, Pork. In about three more days, there'll be 12 more girls coming to your house and you're kind of going, so we have now hopped off the 4x4, we have an hour and a half to ourselves to just explore the area. Here you have some lovely shops, some knitwear, jewellery, ice cream, which I might get some in a few minutes, and delicious cake. You also can head up to Dun Engesha. We are going to do that tomorrow because we are on the island for two nights, so we have loads of time to explore. And like the team of our van trip, we want to take things nice and slow. Make sure the jumper I've been after for a year and a half. I even know where they are in old shops. Aren't these so cute? They are, that is so cute. Are you gonna get it? How much is it? 200 euro. I love how I, I know the price, I get 200. I love that colour, Sarah. Me too. This is like my favourite colour, this and khaki. Nice, isn't it? Sarah, I feel like it goes with my trousers. So, we were rushing for the ferry this morning, there was no parking, and I left my denim jacket in the van so i've no jacket in on an island in ireland bob <laughs> so ice cream i'm so excited you getting some i don't think so i'll get enough for two <laughs> thank you very much thank you uh yeah it's already melting so good so it is award winning ice cream oh that was good honeycomb seriously you can't go wrong with honeycomb oh that piece gonna fall off it's so melty though. Ah. We are finished exploring for the day and what a day it was. We had our own local guide showing us just how raw Inishmore is. But I'm not gonna lie, I am wrecked and it is so nice not to be herded onto a boat or herded onto a plane because we get to stay here at the Iron Island Hotel. Let me show you what the room is like. Me and Sarah have our own personal little chalet. We have twin beds, which is really nice because it means that we won't be kicking each other in the middle of the night. And we also have a lovely ensuite, which you'll know is really important to us because we don't have showers in our van. So this is pure luxury and that's not the best part. Right over here, we have our own personal balcony with the most incredible view looking out onto Inishmore. I never want to leave. Me either. <laughs> it is so fun. We are about to get ourselves ready for dinner and a little bit not looking so scruffy. But I just want to point out here to the left of our room is all these rocks that look just like the burn in County Clare, which actually burn in Irish translates to the rocky place. Um, but it's, it's so cool to just kind of have this right on our doorstep. It's incredible. No, Lord, there's no time for that. We gotta go for dinner. I'm tired. Too bad. <laughs> so 
So we are down to have the food in the hotel now. There's a wedding on over here, so it's literally buzzing, which is really nice to see. Um, we're starving, and it's really nice to be in a restaurant because I feel like we haven't had that luxury in the van, so it's pretty good. Sarah. Yeah. How are you feeling about food? When it comes to food, I always feel bloody fantastic. <laughs> so, I have a dilemma. Soup, chicken wings. Chicken wings are barbecue. Soup is vegetable. So, it's a difficult decision, but soup must be. Delighted to try this now. Oh my god, I needed this. This is literally it. In courses, I have decided to go for carbonara. It's a classic. I always go for it when I'm in restaurants, but I love it. Mm -hmm. That was so good. So, I got the tandoori. I was going to go vegan. Well, I'm so tired today. I think I need some protein. So, we went chicken tandoori, and it was a good shout. to listen to. <laughs> I know Sarah wasn't a big fan of the old Irish jiggy music, but I had a great time. Um, so, but we are so tired. We've been so busy the last while. So we've decided to head to bed. The beds are so comfy. I can't even stand up to go brush my teeth. And I will see you in the morning because we've so much more exploring of finish more to do. Night. Good morning. This is a view that I could definitely get used to waking up to. So you saw how tired we were last night. Um, so we came down for breakfast and it is a big juicy royal. Mm -hmm. Very needed for a day of exploring. We got our bikes but Aaron Bike Hire. They have loads to choose from, from electric, normal bikes, random colours, you name it. It was so cool to take the island at a slower pace on day two. They're electric bikes, so fantastic. And it's far less busier today, so it's actually really nice to see the island like this. Such an unusual colour. They're very like hairy. It's a very unusual colour. We are just approaching the seal colony, which is like a bunch of rocks jutting out onto the ocean where the seals tend to hang out. I didn't see any the last time I was here, so hopefully we see some this time. They're so big. What do they say? Dogs of the sea? Yeah. So I always say when I'm on the Iron Islands, they're sunny. Um, but there's a first for everything this weekend because I saw the seals for the first time in the seal colony and now it's lashing rain. Welcome to Ireland. It was sunny like 10 minutes ago. So people have made sculptures with just on the side of the road. It's pretty cool. <laughs> everybody rushing for some shelter. So everybody just looks a tad bit miserable on their bikes. So I'm just going by saying, hi, lovely day. <laughs> Hello. Hi. It's actually class. It's starting to clear now. We're coming up to Kamulvi Beach, 
which is a stunning white sand beach. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you the scenery as much today because I am filming on a GoPro instead of my phone. My phone's a lot better footage wise, but look. So incredible. There's Sarah up ahead. Look at these houses. Wouldn't you love to live somewhere like that? Look how white that sand is and the water, even on a moody day, so beautiful. Look at this fella swimming, doing proper laps. Perfect swim. So we are going to stop for a bite to eat in this gorgeous little cafe. Let's go in. A vegetarian lasagna. Oh. So the food has arrived. I've got beef lasagna and Sarah got potato gratin. gratin. Look at the heat of that. Mm. It's good. We traded the vans for bikes. This is Sarah's bike and this is my bike. Do you want to go to the Nangasa? Yeah. Sarah, cows. Do you like them? I'm going to just look at them in my back garden at home. <laughs> I do love them though. They're cute, look at them. They're cuties. I'm not gonna lie, we got a little hyper on our walk up to John Angusa, but it was something to keep us entertained for our 25 minute uphill battle. How are we? Pretty grand, yeah. Not too bad. When it's not hot, it's actually fine, isn't it? 10 hours later. It's tough on the old legs. Keep climbing. Once we got to the top, we geared straight to the left where there is a phenomenal view of the cliffs. Do not skip this part when you're there. Oh, the waves. I could actually sit here all day. Oh, that's lovely. So good. We are currently en route to the wormhole. I'm not gonna lie, it is a bit confusing to get to it. So the reason we're going back is to show you the correct way. Because yesterday we went through private land and you're not allowed to do that. It is trespassing and a lot of people do trespass and the locals aren't too fond of that. So I'm gonna show you the right way to go. So the way you know that you're going in the right direction is these red markings. That is, this one's kind of faded, I'm not gonna lie. So what I recommend is you follow Google Maps until you see the point where you have to stop, leave the bikes and then head following the red arrows. So it looks like you should continue this way. So you definitely need to keep an eye out for the arrows. This one's actually white and then it says wormhole on top of it. So we got to go this way. So don't follow the path. And we have the entire wormhole to ourselves. Crazy, this place just be packed with people. You saw it yesterday. There's nobody here. Also, there's loads of flying ants around and they're all in our hair and everywhere. So we're just deciding to ignore that they're here. I also want to add, I didn't say yesterday, this is natural. So that perfect rectangular shape, it's not man-made, which blows my mind. And obviously it drops out into the sea as well. So it's just a big wormhole. <laughs> I am pure shock. I can't believe we are currently at the wormhole with nobody else here. This place is normally so busy. I literally like, I, I don't think I can, how? How is this possible? It's amazing. It's, it's such a cool feeling. Oh my God, I'm so excited. We don't wanna leave. Like we literally don't wanna leave. We just spend all our time here. I don't know what time it is. I don't care what time it is. This is peaceful, this is nice. And it's an amazing feeling.
I made a good decision to walk beyond the wormhole because there is an amazing view of the cliffs over to the right. It's so cool. So this is the fantastic view of the cliffs of Arran. And then up popped up on this hill here is John Angusha that you wouldn't otherwise be able to see. I feel like this is such an unspoiled part that people don't tend to walk to. Yeah, it's only like a two minute walk from the main attraction. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I'm heading back out towards the bikes because we have an incredible hidden gem that we're about to visit. Sarah's gone on ahead of me, so I better go catch up. If you're looking for a hidden gem while you're in Inishmore, this is the spot. I'm gonna leave the text of what it's called here because it's in Irish and I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce it, but it's incredible, 360 views of the island. And because everyone's rushing on day trips, they just don't spend the time in places like this that are a lot more underrated, but I'm not really sure why. Over here, there is actually a fort. We're heading over to it now. Round circular fort. My drone has died. So Sarah is gonna do the honors of doing a little flight for us to show you what it looks like from a bird's eye perspective. Because you obviously have Dunangasha, but this one doesn't get any recognition really. But nobody else around all the tourist boats have gone back the planes have gone back and we're right here on our own i know i keep saying it i know i will keep saying it over and over again it is the coolest feeling <laughs> it's just we didn't even know this was here it's such a hidden gem which we met local kids on the way up like i just don't think it's really a done thing is it no i don't think so crazy these are all individually placed rocks like i just like just process that for a minute like crazy like so our hotel is over here somewhere we're gonna head back there now it is our last day on Inishmore and we're getting the 12 o'clock ferry home but we decided to come up to the black fort this morning it is raining um <laughs> but it's supposed to be a really beautiful sight so worth it We're walking now, so we gave up on the bikes. It was very bumpy and not really a road you want to cycle on. So we're now walking in search for it, keeping the helmet on because it's keeping our head dry. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope we find it. <laughs> Hi. Sarah's here. <laughs> I am lost for words. We literally walked towards the coast so that we could try find the castle. And this view, oh my, how is this not more on the tourist route? I just. Okay, so we have a ferry to catch, so we're on our way back to it now. But this is a must if you're on Inishmore. And you, we don't wanna leave. We actually feel like there's so much more that we could do. It's not even enough time. Staying two nights, we just didn't have enough time. Like, And this has probably been one of my favorite locations. This and the fort last night. So yeah, oh my God, I don't wanna leave. I'll definitely be back. Bye Inishmore. See you next time. So this brings us to the end of the Inishmore vlog. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, you'll really like this Ireland video next. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.